I'm Elian St. Hilaire and in this video we're going to take a look at Mesh Central's CrowdSec support. So whenever you set up a, a Mesh Central instance or any web service that is on the internet, one of the biggest concerns is security. Uh, security of your users, security of the server and so on. And so you could get denial of service attacks, you can get uh, people trying to guess passwords and trying to log in uh, various ways and so on. So there's different ways to try to defeat this. And one of the ways I've recently got to know uh, through a GitHub request was uh, CrowdSec. And this is a distributed way of basically getting all the information about what active attacks are going on right now from what IP addresses they show up, they, they come from, and then uh, distributing that information to all the people in the community so that they can uh, basically have their servers start blocking those IP addresses. So we're, let's take a look at how that works. So before we get started, I'm going to go and search on DuckDuckGo for CrowdSec. This is their website. And let's see, CrowdSec, oops, sorry, CrowdSec. There it goes, CrowdSec.net. And it is a, as they described, a open source and collaborative intrusion prevention system. And what you do is you contribute information about um, what attacks you're seeing on from your server and that gets all pulled into a community database and redistributed to everyone. They do have uh, commercial products uh, available with pricing. So you can see there's uh, the free community one. That's what I've been using, but there's professional and so on. And then there's different products and, and so on. So you can take a look at that. But uh, all of their source is open source. And um, we'll take a look at their architecture now. So I have a few slides. And so basically what they're gonna do is have a component to collect data from all the servers, one to take a look to see who's good, who's bad, who's uh, you know, doing aggressive behavior. Then you can remedy that with CAPTCHA blocking or allowing um, uh, the, the, um, the, the inbound connections. <clears throat> and then of course sharing that with the community so that when you see an attack, you can share that with the community so that they can also block um, those IP addresses uh, from that attack. Okay, so the overall architecture, you have a CrowdSec agent that collects data on your machine. It sends that to a local database. This is running on your server, so you'll be installing these agents you know, to collect data. You'll be installing this database. There's also a command line tool called the CrowdSec CLI, uh, command line tool. And so that's going to be useful for doing operations here. And then of course, you'll be pushing information into the community database. And also you'll be getting the information back um, from what current threats exist. And then lastly, there are bouncers. Now, if you're not familiar with English too much, a bouncer is typically this person who stands in front of a bar and only lets the, the invited people and the guests uh, people in and uh, blocks people who are unwanted outside the bar. And in the context of uh, computer security, these bouncers will basically query this database, see if an incoming IP address uh, is okay or not. And if it is okay, then these services will get the green light and will um, accept the connection, otherwise they won't. Okay, so Mesh Central is basically has a bouncer built in. So Mesh Central is going to have one of these here. Mesh Central is not available, it's not, you know, dealing with any of these other components it's doing with this bouncer job uh, built in. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna listen or query the CrowdSec database locally, <clears throat> and then, uh, and then in res depending on what the CrowdSec response says, it can block. And so here we have a screenshot of the block. It can capture. So it, you, know, you can ask the user to prove that they're really human and not a bot. Or they can allow or what they call bypass. And in that case, you see the uh, login page. And so again, Mesh Central is going to connect to this local uh, AP, uh, 
database here, it's usually running on localhost port 8080, and it requires an API key. And so we'll see how to set that up. And so uh, once we get this set up, the, in my demonstration, what I'll do is I'll be adding a new section in the settings section of the config.json for Mesh Central. I'll add a new section called CrowdSec, and then we'll have the URI. This is typically HTTP localhost 8080. It's just a, um, a you know, connection on loop back to the uh, local thread database. And then you have an API key. This API key is not given by the cloud server CrowdSec. It's, done, it's given by your local um, CrowdSec agent or local, local CrowdSec database. And then the fallback remediation, this is what to do, what does Mesh Central do if it can't connect and can't contact um, and get, can't get an answer from the uh, CrowdSec. So the options are bypass like this, or they are capture or ban. So by default, it is bypass. And, um, oh, and I, I would keep it bypass because obviously if something goes wrong here, you don't want your service to go down. But, um, but that's what that, that, that is. Okay, so I won't go into how to install CrowdSec on your computer. I uh, have tried the Linux version on a different computer. I just installed the Windows version on this one. So I'm gonna open up here uh, administrator console. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to go into the CrowdSec uh, command line tool. So CSCLI, enter. And this will give me like all the options that CrowdSec supports. So um, uh, once you got started, you can, you know, you have access, once you installed it, you have access to this command line tool. And there's a couple of things that are interesting. Uh, alerts show you, you know, things that, that you're, uh, your server has detected, uh, but what we're gonna be focused is on bouncers and on decisions. These are the two I'm gonna focus on. So bouncers is the, the uh, pieces of software you have running on computers that act on the information. So Mesh Central is gonna be one of them. Uh, you can have many. And then um, once we've set up the bouncer, we're gonna go and make a decision. We're gonna artificially say we want to ban some, block somebody or, uh, or capture somebody and see what the, what the response is. So let's do bouncers first. So, and by the way, notice that I'm uh, logged in as an administrator shell. If you don't do that, then you'll get an error saying you don't, you know, the, the command line tool doesn't have access to the database. But um, if you run as administrator, you're fine. So I'm gonna do uh, command line tool, bouncers, and let's see, see, oops, sorry, B-O-U, B-O-U-N-C, bouncer. O-U-N, okay, bouncers, there it goes. So if you do the command line bouncers, you have add, delete, and list. So I'm gonna do list. It says that there's currently a bouncer called Mesh Central. I previously set this up. I'm gonna remove it. Remove Mesh Central, enter. So I removed it. Now I'm gonna go list and, you, oops. Sorry, Mesh Central, I need to capitalize it correctly. Central, there it goes. Now it deleted successfully. List, okay. Now there's no, no bouncers in the list. Now what I can do is I can say bouncers add, and it's gonna ask me, uh, I need to add a name. So I'm gonna add, so this is what you would do. You would, you would first do command line bouncers add, and for example, Mesh Central or whatever name you want. Uh, I recommend Mesh Central. You say enter, and as soon as you add it, it will give you this API key. Now this is just between the Mesh Central bouncer and, uh, and your local, and the local uh, database, the local uh, CrowdSec database. So I'm gonna take this and it, you can't get it again. So you have to take this. And then I'm gonna go into my config.json file. Uh, and here there's a CrowdSec section. This is in the settings section of the config.json. I'm gonna un remove that underscore so it's not commented anymore. Put the URI, HTTP localhost 8080. Put the API key. This is the same API key that I just got from the tool. 
So I basically grab this API key, put it there, and then fall back. I, right now, I'll, I'll keep it at bypass. So if it can't contact the uh, CrowdSec local agent or local database, then just let people through. OK, so I saved that. Once I'm done, I'm going to restart the server. I have the server running in a command line right here. Uh, if, you have it run it, if you have it running as a background service, you'll have to restart that. OK, so now that I have the Mesh Central run, you know, running again, every time I hit refresh on this login page, it should query the local database of CrowdSec, make sure that the IP address I'm coming from is OK, and then allow me to see the web page. And so if I do bouncers list, you'll see that now it's going to be populated with, um, with the type of uh, bouncer. So this is the Express Node.js bouncer and the version of it, and then um, whether it's valid or not, and so on. So, and it's IP address local because Mesh Central is locally accessing this database. OK, so that's good. And so now, if I hit refresh, I can see this page. So because uh, the database is, uh, CrowdSec is saying that everything's OK. So now what we're going to go is go back into the tool, and we're going to take a look at decisions. So tool decisions. And then you can, same as the bouncers, you can do a list. And you can say there's no active decisions right now. Good. So I'm going to add one. And when you add one, you can type a specific IP address. And, uh, and then the, you can say how long you want the decision and what type of uh, remediation you want if, you make, uh, if that decision, you know, that IP address uh, happens. So I'm going to do dash dash IP. And I believe, I, hopefully, I know my local IP address. So this is it. And then type, and I'm going to say ban. Enter. Boom. And so if I say decisions list, now you should see that there's a decision that this IP address is manually banned and from my command line tool. And it will expire in four hours. So that's the default duration for, um, for any decision. So now if I hit refresh on Mesh Central, whoop, it didn't do it. Let's see. Let's see if uh, IP config. Did I type my right IP? Well, I, I typed the wrong IP address, one, 147. So I'm going to ban myself from 147. There you go, decision added. Let's take a look at the decision list. There's two IP addresses. Hit refresh now. And uh, still not good. Let's try. Uh, Try banning 127.0.0.1. Let's see. Nope. What did we have here going on? So I have CrowdSec. Fallback is bypass. And well, one thing we can do is I'm going to log in as administrator. And I am going to trace. I'm going to do a trace on my own web requests and duplicate this tab. I want to see what IP address. Oh, see, the problem is I'm getting a, I'm currently connected on IPv6. So I can ban this IP address, I guess. Control copy. There it goes. I'll ban this one. Like that. Enter. OK, decision added. And now. If I log out, there we go. Now we have our ban screen. So, oh, this page is protected against cyber attack, and this IP has been banned on your system. So now if I refresh, it's not working. So yeah, I was, I was basically browsing to, uh, you know, using an IPv6 address, so that's why I was doing that. OK, so now you've seen, basically, Mesh Central respond to the um, to the uh, decision by CrowdSec, and you can see that the bouncer inside Mesh Central reacted. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say remove, remove, and uh, the decision ID. I think I can just do that. Let's let's first make a list of the decisions, and then I'm going to remove. Let's see, remove eight 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 two. 
I'm going to remove, uh, oh, I see, dash dash ID. Dash dash ID. Okay. Three, four. I'm going to remove all the decisions here. And five. It just takes a little while to, and then to figure out, no, there's no more decisions. If I hit refresh, now I see the web page. Okay. Now the last thing I want to, I want to try to do is add capture. Capture as the uh, remediation type for this IP address. I'm going to say OK. Now, I, if I go back on the list, now I have one, and it says and it says capture on it. Let's see, try this again. There it goes. So, so now you, you you for the next four hours, this IP address is capture. And then if I hit refresh, now I get this page saying, whoops, we need to provide a security check. So I will type. And if I type the wrong thing. You know, it won't work. So now you need to type the right thing. Let's see, oh, enter, and then you get the, uh, the web page correctly. And of course, if now, now for a, a certain period of time, I, th I think it's 30 minutes in the case of Mesh Central, uh, that IP address is allowed um, under th this rule. But, um, but after 30 minutes, Mesh Central will query again see that this is still CAPTCHA and it will still, um, uh, it will display this CAPTCHA query. Now, Mesh Central's built-in bouncer will uh, not bother anybody if you're logged in. So if, once you're logged in, then uh, you're okay, regardless of what the CrowdSec says, right? So if you're if you're a user, you're already uh, authenticated and stuff. You're fine, but uh, but users who are not authenticated and they go on the login page or they try to request anything on Mesh Central, then those um, this decision will apply. Okay, so I, hopefully that was clear. There's one more thing I want to do, and that is there's a fun side effect here. That is is that. If you don't put the URI and the API key and you just put the fallback and nothing else, then uh, Mesh Central will only do the fallback. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this decision. So 8886, so I cleared the decision here to do CAPTCHA. So now if I hit refresh, not on, on the correct URI, I, will, I, I don't see CAPTCHA anymore and, um, and yeah, that's good. But now what I'm going to do is go back into my config.json and I'm going to remove the, the URI and the API key and I'm just going to put capture as the fallback. So here, Mesh Central is not going to even bother trying to connect to uh, the, the local uh, CrowdSec database. It's just going to do capture all the time. So that's funny because now I'm going to reset the server, run it again. And so if you're running a private server and you, you want to put it behind a capture wall, this is how you do it. Like you don't even need to install CrowdSec at this point. You just hit refresh and it will always show you the capture. And then you can uh, do this, hit enter, and then you get the, the login screen. So this would kind of stop bots from trying to see your server. Like you, you would always be behind a capture wall. Um, but of course, for a lot of people, you want that capture wall or that ban wall to only happen when uh, you know, CrowdSec tells you to do it. And so this video, I hopefully just demonstrated um, how to do that. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. The, there's lots of different, you know, bouncers out there. There's lots of components to acquire information uh, from your server. Uh, so you can set all that up. Hopefully, this will make uh, the internet more secure, and certainly it will make Mesh Central more secure. Thank you very much. Have a great day.